As drought envelops the country, leaving behind a trail of hunger and death, there's a call to change farming methods as weather patterns change drastically. The Minister for Disaster Preparedness, Hilary Onek, says Uganda should adopt modern farming methods to overcome food shortage. We need to style up. We need to style up, particularly transform our agricultural sector to be more productive and not to be rain dependent, reduce on rain dependency. I've already mentioned to you irrigation. Different technologies are available, can be done, but that will require a technologically averse population. Currently, more than 1.6 million people across the country face starvation, and 10 million are underfed. Onek says he's desperate because the relief items can only meet the demand for food for only three months. It means another three to four months before we can get the next harvest. That means we shall can get the next harvest by end of July or beginning August. So all this period is the period of my world. What will my people eat? What will our people eat? Particularly, you know, it's a desperate situation. I must tell you, I'm desperate as a minister responsible. I want, if possible, most Ugandans who have slightly more than what they need, let them donate the extra to help the starving. We don't want to go abroad, go and appeal to these foreigners. It is shameful. He revealed that China recently donated food to the country, but the government's red tape has delayed its distribution. Recently, China gave us um, food worth 200, 200 containers, 200 containers of food. And each container is about 30 tons, how many tons? So you can work it out. They gave us rice. The cabinet directed the Ministry of Finance to release because they wanted tax from the rice. But uh, they were being instructed that this food is coming to starving population. After now, the food has not yet been released. Whereas rain has began falling, harvesting could take much longer a situation which could prolong the plight of those starving. The situation has deteriorated. The demand now goes to a population of about 1.6. And, and not only that, the others who are left out, another 10 million, they are currently underfeeding themselves. Instead of three meals a day, they may be taking two meals a day and restricted meals meaning that they are at the brink as well, and they could easily fall into, again, if the little food that they have gets exhausted. He now wants taxes on foods imported to be slashed so that rising prices on commodities can gradually drop. We might need some measures. It may not be like Kenya, but if we encourage our business people to bring in food at no tariff during the next three to six months, it will, it will regulate the food prices, it will bring it down. So those are issues we are going to raise as government. As a result of drought, Uganda's economy remains sluggish due to food inflation. Because of the increased price of food is skyrocketing. The businessmen make money, they don't care. We as government have to do something to regulate the price of food. The executive director of the central bank Dr. Adam Mugume recently warned that there's a likelihood of the economy not recovering, especially if the dry spell continues.